Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Where the Hunter. So today I thought I would go out and I think I'm going to be testing out the 30 hot 6 today. Now the 30 hot 6 is a pretty damn good weapon. It's a tier 5, so it is going to be good on all tier 5 animals. So that's going to be pretty much all of your deer species aside from elk, moose, and red deer. They're going to be tier 6. But whitetail, mule deer, uh, fellow deer... And we have some mule deer right over there. And also we have some deer hmm, over in here somewhere I, I saw them. Not sure where they went to. So yeah, the 3 out 6 is probably one of the most popular weapons of choice. I would say, at least in America. Okay, so wait a minute. Over there. I know I saw more deer. For the life of me, I cannot find them now. Huh. So I would love to test this out in a long shot. But I really don't like the fact that I cannot see what I'm shooting. Um, if I knew what was over there <laughs> first, I would be more inclined to. So let's maybe get to the end of this dock and we can see. And possibly once we see what's over there, then we can always back up up this hill and uh, we could take a longer shot. Oh, wait a minute. Did I have... Hmm. Oh, wait. Maybe a young female. Just starting to be able to see him. Boy, I really need have to put a spotting scope or zoomable binoculars or something into the game. Um, me personally, I would prefer a spotting scope. Um, zoomable binoculars, I mean, they're out there. Wait tail. I thought I was looking at, I thought I was looking at mule deer. Oh, wait. Wait tail, one star. One star adult. And wait, there are mule deer over here, though. Aren't there? Yeah, there are. So we have mule deer and whitetail deer all down at the lake at the same time, which makes sense because they drink at the same time. I'm not seeing anything really good that I could take. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll probably just end up taking one of those one-star adults. Um, what do we have there? Mature female. One-star young. <clears throat> I'm not going to take out a young. That's, I'm not going to do that. If I could zoom right in on him and see what his antlers look like, possibly, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> I can't even see these other deer. What do we have down here? One star adult. A lot of one star adults. That one right there, I would say, would be a good shot. About 260 out. Let's uh, let's try that, shall we? So I will say there is a bug right now with these. Um. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was uh, that was unexpected. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting that to go down that quick. I'm sure that spooked out. The mule deer, right? No, it didn't. They're still there. I mean, we could potentially double up. They're looking. I don't see. I don't see any bucks in there at all. Where are the bucks? I know that there's a bigger herd back there than what I'm seeing right here. They're just going back to eating. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, there is a bug right now. It's only affecting. The two five-tier 
weapons, the, the two new Remingtons, um, the 30 out 6 and the 270, where with the hunting sense on, you don't see that red dot that kind of helps you out. So that's a little unfortunate. Um, it's working fine on the tier 6 guns. Just not these. Where is that? A, that's a buck right there. Let's just take a quick look and see. Make sure that's not that young. That is the one star young. Okay, I don't. I don't want him. Sure, female. Are there really no other bucks in this whole herd? Man, I guess not. Oh wait, was there something more up there? I'm really thinking that there's there's more deer up there that I'm just not seeing. A moose? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. A moose? Okay, so just to show you guys where I'm at, I am at this lake right here. That's in the Highland Forest area, the White Pine Orchard. Um... I have never seen moose up here before. So this has been happening quite a bit. I've been seeing animals scattered around the map. And Okay, yeah, there's a couple more moose up there. Honestly, guys, I absolutely love that. I mean, it doesn't happen often. But when it does, it's just like... It brings new, uh, new life into the game almost. Because finding animals where you've never seen them before... It's just so cool. And as I said in, I believe, the last video, I was talking about that very thing. Um, I would absolutely love it if, like, every couple updates, they, uh, they switch some animals around. I think that would be fantastic, and it would just keep the existing maps really fresh to where if all of a sudden, if, say, the moose populations that were up in here Maybe they moved down here for a couple months, and then uh, they'd move them back, you know what I mean? Or then these moose populations would shift over here for like a couple months. So yeah, I think that would be really, really fun to add to the game. And like I said, it would just make the maps always feel fresh. That's, uh, that's what I think about it anyway. So we're going to stop talking, and we're going to get around this lake to harvest that deer and we're gonna see what this is all right here he is and I am really interested to see where we hit this deer that it was a drop shot like this because I didn't have the, the help of the uh the hunter sense with the dot to compensate so this is literally all my shot and yeah I'm just really curious left lung left lung and liver but it's showing the left lung was what dropped it interesting I don't quite understand I mean unless it just completely decimated that left lung I don't really know how we actually dropped this thing with just a, uh, a left lung and liver shot I mean the liver shot I, I can I kind of see that, but the fact that it's showing the skull on the left lung, that is crazy. And we, uh, we did a good job here. 20% of the genetics, that's horrible. And uh, we lost about a little over two pounds of meat, so not bad at all. All right, guys, so the plan is I want to go down here, and I want to try to find some elk. And then maybe we'll go up into this area here, maybe find some wolves that we can take out with the 30 out 6 as well. Well, there we go. There are our elk. <laughs> and I knew there would be elk up here. There usually is, but um, I really came from a bad direction. Normally, I like to come from that way. And then I'm up on that mountain, and then I can see all the way in here because they tend to come down here, actually, like, pretty much right in the spot I'm in, and bed down. So 
<clears throat> I'm thinking, uh, you know, I think uh, we're probably going to cross the lake here. And we're going to hang out in this area a little bit. They're going to come in because they're already starting to. And we're going to try to get up possibly up on that hill over there. There are some mule. There are some mule. What was that? There are some mule deer over here. Okay, you're still calm. That's good. Uh, there were some mule deer over here. Unfortunately, there was absolutely nothing in the herd that I could see worth taking. There was only what appears to be one young male. American Badger. <laughs> they don't even have a time for them for drinking. In the encyclopedia. So yeah, I want to get up over on this other side, maybe up on this hillside a little bit. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really sure, man. I don't know. I don't think they come down too far. They pretty much stay right in those trees. If I could see them starting to make their way down, I would feel a lot better about this. So I'm thinking that right there, that is a beautiful, that's a beautiful position. Like if they came down there, that would be so ideal, but there's, there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell they're going to come right down there. That would just be too perfect. Oh, oh, right there, guys, right there. We can see him. One star mature. Now it's been a while since I checked this herd out, so I don't know exactly what's in it. One star mature, that one's definitely worth taking out. Um, now the problem is, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure where they're going to go. As I said, normally they uh, they bed down in the trees, but man, it is just so difficult. So difficult trying to see where they go and all that. As I said, normally I perch myself up on that mountain and I, uh, I look down on them. We do have the elk collar. Uh, I would like to take a shot that's a little farther away, but then again, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> no, they're still behind me, still calm. Okay, so we can see the elk. Right there. In the worst possible area they could be. Right in between all those damn trees. Um, like I said, man, we could possibly... We could possibly call them in. But let's just get a little higher and see what happens. I think these trees are going to pose a problem. If that one star stepped right out into there, we'd be doing good. I Yeah, there's no way we're going to get up over these trees here. Like where she is right there. If I could just get a spot on him... Well, you know what? Let's, uh... Oh. What's going on there? Hmm. They are on the move now. That is for sure. That is not... Right there, right there, right there. Now we still going a little too fast. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Uh, that doesn't look like great blood.
Ah, so unfortunately that is not even lung, so I'm almost tempted to just not even bother. Yeah, I think we're just gonna leave that. Um, it's clear. It's a small amount. So yeah, we're not gonna waste our time trying to find him, unfortunately. Well, a little change of plans here. Um, the elk hunting didn't go so well. <laughs> but uh, we have some big horn sheep right in front of us here. Two star mature right there. They're right behind those trees. So we're not going to make the same mistake we did last time. We are, uh, we're going to take our time with it. Try to get a decent shot. There's also a one-star mature back there. I wouldn't mind getting that one. But of course, we are uh, we're gonna pretty much take what we can can get here. Whatever presents itself. Not young though. What's that one? There's the one-star mature right there. Uh, hmm. <laughs> oh, there's a one star mature. Okay. That one's actually stepping out, so let's. Nope, and he's moving back. God damn it. <laughs> you know, guys, I, I really hope you can feel my pain here because. Just none of these animals are cooperating with me today. You know, I mean, I'm just trying to put out a video, get a video recorded here, and nothing seems to be cooperating with me. The animals, they just, they won't present a good shot. They're in areas that are just really difficult to hunt. And uh, I'm just having one of those days, you know? But that's all right. I guess that's uh, that's hunting. I, uh, I kind of knew what I was in for coming over here. This is kind of the situation with the bighorn sheep all the time. Uh, where did they go? I really need to start making better use of these markers. Um, seriously, though, where uh, where did they go? Wow, okay, so they got way over there even. Okay, so hmm. There is a clearing. I mean I'm not sure if that's where they're headed. But we're gonna have to move around this way anyhow because uh oh. Okay. They, they are on the move, so maybe we can catch them out in the open. That would be ideal, but the way my luck is going today, I highly doubt that's going to happen. But as I said, they are moving quite fast. I don't know what their deal is. I don't know where they're heading. Even if we could get a little bit into the open here... That would be ideal. They're, yeah, they're right there, man. Are they coming this way? Hmm. Okay, they didn't stop. That's a one-star doll. I don't want him, necessarily. Looks like they're just kind of stopping and eating. And then on their way again. You don't want to do that, dude. Boy, I just, I 
don't know. They're just right behind those trees. We're just going to have to keep following them, guys, and hope for the best. Hope we don't spook them, which I feel like we should be okay since they're, they're moving away from us. Just they don't stop, do they? That's the uh, that's the problem. They just keep moving. It's a one star male. God, I don't want him. Two star mature. we go that's the payoff did we what was that one doing hmm that's the payoff guys right there so again another good shot on the animal and he is just downed immediately immediately with this 30 out six so far i am Really enjoying this gun. It's um, it's working really well on a tier 5 animals. I would love to try this out on a tier 6 animal, like an elk. But uh, unfortunately, that just didn't really pan out. I'm sure we'll get to use it. You know, I wouldn't mind even using this on a bear, seeing what this does on a black bear. But uh, that is probably really pushing it. Okay, so let's pick him up and see what kind of damage we did. Instantly with just the right lung, just a single lung shot. How How is this possible? I don't understand. And I mean, we just, we just nicked the front of that lung as well. And just absolutely dropped him. All right, guys. So this isn't like super ideal, but uh, we have a one-star adult black bear right there in front of us. We have a female right there as well. So I think this is a perfect opportunity to test a 30 out six on a black bear. And see that he's just a one-star adult. I don't feel like he'll uh be really anything decent so hmm. just need to try to figure out what's the exact angle I want to get here on this guy um, hmm as usual, he is not presenting us with a very good shot at all. Um, does he actually got his back to us now? Kind of what it looks like. All right, I think we're going to have to just creep our way up to maybe the next uh, little plateau here. So we can see him a little bit better. Uh, again, I don't really want to take a shot that's too close. But I also would prefer to get a shot that's at least somewhat broadside. Oh, now where did he go? Haha. <laughs> I mean, she is actually perfect. But there he is right there. 
I cannot see exactly how he is facing here. Hmm. If we can try to work our way up. To this brush we might get a good look at him okay he's still calm so that's that's awesome that's what we want to see we just want to take our time Now, the bear in this game, they're pretty damn tough as it is. I mean, even with the tier 6 rifle, they're pretty tough. So I'm just really curious as to what this will do to him. 218, he's 134. That's everyone about there. Dude, put your head down. There we go. I feel like that should have been a decent hit. He's uh, he's kind of stumbling, but no, there, there he goes. Hmm. That could have been a bad shot. I mean, it definitely seems like today. I just, I cannot get any of these animals to present me with a decent broadside shot, but I guess that's just the, uh, the way it goes. Let's just go up here and, and let's see what kind of blood we have. Just, uh, the way some of the other hunts have been going today, I, my confidence is just not really up there. We were definitely close enough. Uh, I feel like that should have possibly hit lung, I, I hope. But uh, I have no idea. Where? Okay, this is not a problem because this is probably not where we hit him, maybe? Okay, now look at I know we hit him. And of course, now we have elk calling. What in the world? I don't know where they're calling from, though. <laughs> I cannot believe. Okay, I'm... Almost 100% positive that we hit that bear. Oh man, that's the mail. I guess we didn't, guys. Oh. oh my god. Okay, well. I don't understand. I don't really understand how we didn't hit him. But that's okay. We are going to go after him. So I think I changed the plan. I think we're just going to... No, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so I just spooked two bears out of here, but I don't I don't know which ones they were. I don't know if they were the ones I hit. And I keep getting... elk calling, and I'm getting no bubbles to tell me where the hell they're calling from. So those bears, they were over there. Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. They have me going crazy.
crazy here. I don't know if I'm coming or going, to be honest with you. I'm going to feel make sure calm. Where the hell's the male? He's... One star dull. I, I'm pretty sure that's him. Um... Okay, let, let's try this again. Hopefully, he'll present a better shot. Or not. I don't know what they're doing. They're just kind of roaming around back there. They will not come out in the open. <laughs> okay, that was a hit. That was a hit. That looks pink. Just go down, dude. Go down. God damn it, go down. I shot him in the ass. And he's still not going out. You know what? Ah, we're out of bullets. God damn it. Ah, there he is right there. He is finally down. Okay, so... Out of all that shooting, I mean, we heard those elk. I don't see any elk spooked, so I have no idea where the hell they're coming from. But I think once we pick up this bear, this is probably where we're going to end the video. Or no, actually, you know what? We're going to pick him up, and then we're going to go back to the firing range really quick. And we're just going to we're just gonna kind of compare this to the 308. Now, I know the 308 is going to be a lot more powerful. But I really am interested in knowing exactly how much more powerful is the 308 compared to the 30 out 6. All right, there has our bear in a very strange position. Okay, so we did shoot him three times. The first time, the first time we hit him in the right lung. Wait a minute. Then the second shot was in the left lung. Shot three was just in the flesh. We literally just hit him right in the ass. I don't understand this here. Why didn't he go down? Okay. So there just wasn't enough energy in that shot. Apparently? I mean... Okay, there's that there. And... When did it... Wow, it, it started dropping. Wait, when exactly did this hit? Oh, you know what? Like the minute it hit that flesh, man, it started slowing down. Fast, like really fast. All right, guys, so before we end the video, the last thing I want to do is I just want to see what this looks like up against the 308. So this has got about 3,776 joules at 56.6 yards. 
And let's see how that compares to the 308. Three thousand four hundred sixty-three. So not really that bad. Not. I mean, th this could be kind of a. Con no, wait a minute. So at about fifty yards, the thirty at six is actually. More powerful than the 308. So let's just take a look at. Okay. About 3,200 joules, I would say. And for the 30 out 6, so 3,200 for that one. And for the 30 out 6, about 3,400. So. I mean, technically, according to this, joules wise, the 30 at 6 is more powerful than the 308. Very interesting. And I guess that would be the reason why that the, thir uh, the 30 at 6, you know, it, it, it takes them down like with just a single lung shot piece of cake but I feel like I feel like the 308 could stop a bear better I don't know I have to test it out but uh I, I mean these numbers don't lie right that's that's the energy this is putting out so about 3200 at 200 yards for the 308 and what is it 3400 yeah like 3450 for the 3 6 Very interesting, guys. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the, the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, as always, these are always a lot of fun. I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am, guys. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and we'll see you next time. But until then, happy hunting, guys.